David, it's your old friend Robert Dean Steele. Been talking about reasons to pray. Here's another one. Prayer gives us boldness. Now we are called, called to be bold as lions, yet as wise as serpents, and harmless as doves. Think about that for a moment. Through prayer, we hear what God wants us to do today. It's also during that time of prayer that the Holy Spirit begins to fill us. He begins to empower us. And something begins to change from the inside out. And we become powerhouses for God. All of those things are happening in prayer. It's where God downloads into our life and situation His thoughts his attitudes, his motives, his plans, his purposes, his will. And as we begin to seek the face of God through prayer, we begin to understand eternal purposes. We understand that we're not just here in this world to create wealth and, you know, children, but that we have an eternal purpose. We are to carry out the divine commandment to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love our neighbor as ourself. And then do the divine commission to go into the world and preach the gospel to every living creature, bringing them Jesus Christ and bringing them the reality of who Jesus Christ is today. All of that happens in that place of prayer. There have been many, many times where I've gone into prayer, kind of felt kind of blasé, kind of felt kind of dull. But as I prayed and as the Holy Spirit began to communicate through me and bring the realities of prayer, all of a sudden this boldness, this clarity, this power begins to permeate through me. And before you know it, I feel like David. I can run through a wall and scale a troop. <laughs> Well, you know what I'm saying. The fact is that, David, God can do that all through prayer. And that's what we need to be. That's why we need to pray, so that we can have that boldness, that we can have that authority, we can have that power that we desperately need in our world today. You know, the world, the flesh, and the devil are going to come against us with everything they got. And the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence, but it's the violent who take it by force. So, David, today I'm encouraging not only you, myself, but everybody to worship the Lord, to find that place of prayer, get a hold of God, and get the boldness that we need to touch our world for Jesus Christ. You have yourself a great day, David. This is your old friend, Robert Dean Steele.